Check this out, guys. Oh, yeah. This is what we call a Colosso claw right here. So this is not the one you want to get got by. So He's waving to the camera. Hi, guys. Astrid here. We are here with the bean checking our stone crab traps. We're going to check our traps see if we get lucky and rebate them. We're gonna use barracuda, iguanas, and uh, fish carcasses. So let's see what happens. We got a little baby claw in here. Look at that. Sometimes they be hiding though. Look at him. Look at his little baby claw. Oh Man. We're gonna, we're gonna let him go though. Yep. All right. Cool. All right, barracuda. That's good. That's pretty good. I'll check it next week. First strike. Messy business, huh? Very messy. Dirty Very job. Slippery. Dirty job. So where's Mike Rowe when you need him? Ooh, we got some stone crabbies. Oh yeah. When you're down here in Florida, it gets really hot and this is really messy, but the salt life bibs that they got are really waterproof and super thin. So it's the best of both worlds right there. We got one. I think we're going to measure him. Yep. Let's see. As a keeper, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Just like that, we're gonna let him go. Check this out, guys. Oh yeah. Okay. This is what we call a Colosso claw right here. So this is not the one you wanna get got by. So, yeah. So if you put the knife right there in that knuckle, push down wiggle, they release the claw safety so they don't drown and die. Guys, you don't want to leave him without, you know, claws so he can defend himself. This is his only source of defense right here. All right, guys, iguanas are considered an invasive species to uh, Florida. So the FWC encourages that you dispose of them humanely. So we're going to turn them into stone crab bait because they last a long time and stone crabs love them. Something so delicious loves something disgusting. But that is what we're using for bait, barracuda heads, bonitas, and iguanas, pig's feet. Sometimes we use canned cat food. Anything that stinks they like. This is the biggest one yet. Um, I'm going to use this little device that the bean put me on, the little bean like uh, dip net, so we don't get got. Holy mackerel. Look at that thing. Huh. I've been around for a long time. Uh, <laughs> he's so strong. You guys will never believe how strong these little things are. It's crazy. Look at that. That's massive. Oh, he's still recording. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the haul from today. I'm going to show you guys how to properly cook stone crab claws. Super simple. Just boil it for eight minutes, but we like to season it with some Old Bay because the fiance is from Maryland. So it definitely absorbs some of the flavor. Um, really easy. Eight minutes boiled and that's it. All right, guys, it's almost time to take these out. What we're gonna do is put them in an ice bath and we use cork salt to make it a little colder. So this is going to stop the cooking process and you can see that they are looking almost ready. All right, guys, we're gonna start cracking these. I got this off of Amazon, um, a stone crab claw cracker. It makes it useful 
They're really, really tough. All right, guys, this is what this looks like all done. We usually use a mustard sauce and um, there is nothing better than stone crab claws. It's literally the best crustacean. All right, guys, that's it. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys next time.